if we want to be Christians who care about theology, and I hope that goes without saying, if you are a Christian, you have a theology. If you aren't a Christian, you have a theology. So you ought to care about your theology. And if you care about theology, you must care about words. One of the surest signs that a person, a church, a movement is sliding into liberalism, and I use that as an identifiable thing, not just as a boogeyman, sliding into liberalism is when you no longer take the time or make the effort to define your terms. We live in a culture which is much more comfortable emoting than arguing. We like to shame people on social media more than we want to produce evidence and facts and actual arguments. Uh, you know, I've said before that who needs dogma when stigma will do? That's how we make our quote unquote arguments. We stigmatize people. So we live in a cultural moment that is averse to careful argumentation. Look, we don't need to do it. And, and even in the church often, people feel like it's just, it, it's keeping us, it's distracting from mission or we're getting bogged down or it's just divisive. And so we, we settle for slogans. I don't know how often, you know, and social media perpetuates this because it's, you know, sort of the, the, the medium becomes the message, but people resort to slogans and what can be in a Twitter soundbite or a short status update. And we don't take the time or have the patience to define and then defend what we're actually saying. I think, although you can certainly do it in a way that's unloving and divisive, I think with the right attitude, it's a great expression of love to be clear about these terms, the things that we believe, the things that we hold true. We want to be crystal clear about the things that are most important to us, the things that touch on God and heaven and hell and eternity and the cross. We cannot settle for vague generalities.